right, Craig, can you guys take over? Uh, he's, he, well, he, he's mine. Oh, he's mine. Okay. He's good to go. Is that Shamika's mic? No. no. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's awesome. Right, way to go, Walter. Um, well, first, we get started. Um, this is the water treatment plant. Um, this is where we produce uh, safe and drinking water to the citizens of Valdosta. And um, we got our well field. You look behind us here. We have seven wells that we're able to, where the water comes from. We actually get our water from the Florida aquifer. And um, it comes in and we use uh, ozone. Before we get ozone, we use the uh, sulfide, hydrosulfide is in the water, which is a rotten egg smell. And we're able to strip that out of the water with our stripper towers here and able to treat that where you smell it outside, but you don't smell it when you turn your water on to your taps, you don't smell it in the water there. So once it goes through that process, we use ozone, um, which is uh, oxygen electricity, the ozone layer, and we use that as our primary disinfectant. And once it goes through the ozone system, it goes through our um, leaf there and goes through our sodium hypochlorite, which is our secondary disinfectant, because the thing about ozone is it doesn't leave a residual out in the distribution system. Um, that's why when you use sodium hypochlorite, which it does leave a residual. you got to have a residual out in the distribution system. Once it goes there, it goes through our, um, we use fluoride, which is for teeth also for cleaning the water, and uh, corrosion inhibitor, which protects your pipes as it goes through the, uh, through the city, through the lines and all. Leaves there, it goes, we use caustic and sulfuric acid. Uh, let me back up a little bit. We use sulfuric acid to be able to um, lowered our pH. Our pH in our well field is kind of high, around already a neutral or higher. So we use sulfuric acid to lower that. Once it's lowered, it's able to be able to to around a six, which is better hydrogen sulfide removal. Uh, once it's lowered, it goes through our system. We add caustic at the end to be able to bring it back up to around a 7.5, 7.8, and then it leaves and goes to the city. Um, we have three ground storage tanks that hold our water. Once all goes through the chemicals, they each hold a million and a half gallons a piece. Um, and then we got our tanks downtown, which will be able to keep the adequate pressure and be able to provide the water to the citizens of Vidosta. So, uh, a lot of things, groundwater, because we're groundwater, is, you know, you got organics and stuff, mainly iron and manganese. When you get to the service water plants, which is up north around Macon, Atlanta, they bring theirs from the lake and a river which is more organics, and that's why you have a filtration system in that one. This one here, we don't. Um, here recently, we have upgraded and rehabbed our wells. Uh, some of our wells has got voids in them, which we were trying to protect the surface water intrusion in our groundwater. So we've got a uh, new stainless steel casing to be able to protect those voids, and uh, we've done that recently. We got three wells to go um, to be able to, and all our wells that have been here since 1992 will be rehabbed. We have new one new well that's been put in out there that we just gotta use uh, get the mic I mean the pipes to to be able to uh, bring that to the system and then we got one well right now we're drilling we don't know if it's gonna be good source or not but uh, we're as of we're speaking we're doing that now so.